<laughs> that hurt. <laughs> More Recording in progress. All right. Uh... Welcome no. to Straight Red Card. We're going to get the show started. <laughs> we are going to talk about the weekend and um, what happened there. But before we get there, Brett. One thing I found very irritating on top of the other commercial I mentioned earlier mm. is this other one that goes and it has the song in it. Make way for me. You gonna know I'm gonna be legendary. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? You're going to be legend. The songs about you are going to be maybe it's like, OK, all of you can be legendary. No, you can't. Can we no, can we have can we have that as our the commercial for all of our podcasts because that means our podcast is going to be legendary, dude. Is this the worst shit? I mean, listen, the amount of positive energy this song is trying so hard to give everybody is so negative. It's so negative. It's like not everyone's going to be legendary, dude. You got to give that fucking shit up. Maybe you're talking about yourself. But people are going to sing along with that and think they're legendary or they're going to be legendary. Guess what? There are a very tiny fucking amount of legendary people on this planet. Paul McCartney, John I mean, Lennon, we are, Michael we're, Jordan. We're pretty loose with all of our terms nowadays. Those, they're terms that, are, that used to be like really like rough and mean that uh, people would be offended if you called them that. That are just being thrown around willy-nilly at this point. Yeah, so like legendary, legendary is just another one. <laughs> <laughs> legendary? What does it take to be legendary? You just have the biggest cock in your fucking college class? The, uh, like, it's the Mr. Rogers mentality here in the sense that the, the, the generation that watched Mr. Rogers, that, you know, you're you're perfect and unique just the way you are. And everybody gets a participation trophy. <laughs> I, I don't think that. I think maybe that started with Mr. Rogers. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it did. I don't know. But I always liked Mr. Rogers, and I didn't. I, I didn't thought, have a problem with Mr. Rogers. I didn't. I didn't either. I didn't think he was telling me like you're a special. I mean, if, if he and said literally, I think that's how he ended every single one of his episodes. You're special. Yeah, just, we, just we all the way are you special. Are. No, no, we all are special the way we are. But he didn't say you had to be a legendary. He didn't say you like that's you're, well, that, that's a stepping stone. You're special. You know, you can do anything. You're legendary. Yeah, I think these kind of songs make me want to vomit. First, I help <laughs> hate self-affirming songs. Like, I am the boss. My cock's bigger than yours. But what about uh, uh, I like Thump Thumping? I like uh, Thump Thumping. No, no. I hate you it get that knocked too. down. You get up you again. You get up again. Okay, but that's like, <laughs> that's more real. Like, in life, you do get knocked down. You have to get up again. You're never going to keep me down. I like that. That's like, I know I'm going to get it knocked down. This guy's basically saying, make way for me. Get the fuck out of my way because I'm going to be legendary. I mean, maybe he's saying that get the fuck out of me way thing might be a problem, but he doesn't say it. He says, get the fuck out of my way. I'm going to be legendary. That to me is bullshit. <laughs> That's not how life works. You got to work your balls off. You got to be tough. You got to be ready for failure. Failure is going to happen because if you aren't failing, you're not learning. People who fail sometimes, you know, will lose their job. But most failures are small and you can recover from them and you can learn from them. You can get better. But this whole shit about, like, I hate all the self-affirmation songs. Like, I mean, maybe that's where, we're, where we are as a society, that people need to hear shit like that. Like, I'm going to be legendary. I never, like... Nothing inside me said, you know, I need to be legendary. I need to be the president of the United States. No. And even if you're the president of the United States, you might be legendarily bad. You know, look at Martin Van Buren. He's never been to live that down. So there are other presidents that have sucked. Doesn't even matter. Like, I mean, everybody thinks Jimmy Carter was the worst president of the world. So you can become legendary in a bad sense, too. So. I just, I just can't stand. I can't take songs like this, and I can't stand it that the media or the commercial people, people making commercials, are using music like this. 
Like, why? How many false things do we want? Somebody's got to be fucking mopping the floor. Somebody's got to be but making the cars. You can be cars. legendary at mopping that floor. He doesn't say that. When he says this, he means he's going to be fucking a legend. You know, a fucking legend. Like Michael Jordan, like LeBron James. Floors like the, were never as clean. Like Jay Z. Bob left. Jay Z or whatever. Legend, now, absolute legend, mopping that floor. I would like to see him clarify these lyrics someday <laughs> in an interview, but I could give two fucks never about what he has happen. to say. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Never. First things first, Eric. You got awfully close to the political conversation there. I almost had to really back in. Uh, second thing, uh, that's absolutely probably going to be an animated conversation there. <laughs> I don't think I got anywhere near politics. You start talking about presidents and good and bad presidents. I mean, it's just... no. I mentioned Ma Martin Van Buren and Jimmy Carter. Those are two <laughs> presidents that people generally regard as bad presidents. I mean, I know Jimmy Carter was a Democrat, but other than that, I lived through Jimmy Carter. I don't remember it though because I was like five. So Jesus, give me a break. All right, <laughs> uh, that's not politics. So you want to go through some of the shit that happened this weekend? Might as well. And when I say shit, I mean a lot of motherfuckers not playing. Yep, I was, I was about to say, 90% of the players didn't play. The ones who did had bad games at the end. Let's move on to the next segment. It's yeah. I mean, we could just get this over real quick. It's like the injured list is fucking unbelievable. Obviously, Sergeant's out. Rain is out. Um, McKinney's oh. out. Cole John played for 20 minutes and got yanked after an injury. <laughs> I mean, McKenny's out, yeah, as you said. Um, Moose is out, injured. DK. I mean, DK's out, injured. Um, even even Henry Wingo's out, injured. Fossey's out, injured. Um, what's going on out there right now? I don't know. Uh, Conrad's out, injured. Uh, let's see. Who yeah, else? I feel like some players need to pick up some yoga. You know, I, I I played. I barely stretched, and I never got injured. I know, Aronson, let's do some yoga, dude. I mean, How seriously. are you not back yet? Stretch that shit out. It was like, oh, it's sketchy. He might be fine to come to. The oh no, he's not. Okay, mm -hmm. guess it's a lot worse than we thought. But yeah, it's just injured motherfuckers all over the place, and it sucks to have to say that frankly. But let me go back to Friday. I'll start on Friday. So on Friday, Mighton and Horvath, what do you think they did, Brett? On Friday. They rode what? Horvath. Exactly. <laughs> and then Balligan went 12 for Middlesbrough. Ola Sunday is injured. DK is, was injured. Uh, Holmes Went 45 for Huddersfield in a tie. Ream Dude, went it's, funny, it's funny. Look, I, had, I had somebody recently uh, reach oh, out yeah. to us as far as why D Dwayne Holmes isn't uh, getting any love by the national team. Well, we've explained it several times, but I don't blame you for missing those shows because they're about <laughs> eight months old or nine months old now. But, yes, the issue with Dwayne Holmes um, from all the report, this is confirmed by multiple people at this point, that Dwayne Holmes had a big yell off argument. Who's got a bigger dick with Greg Denver Berhalter? Berhalter. Yeah, and that as team, it turns out, Berhalter must have the bigger dick because you know he's the manager of the national team, and he yeah. says bye bye. And that's unfortunately after Dwayne Holmes played a game that was really he looked promising. really good. Oh, yeah. I, was so, I was so stoked to see him more of him, and all of a sudden he's not playing. I'm like, what happened? Mm -hmm. Right. Apparently, Berhalter wanted to try him in a different position. He didn't really want to play, and he just said, fuck you, no. Didn't uh, that happen with Ola Sunday as well? Happened with Otisawi. Otisawi, sorry. In camp, yeah. yeah. He wanted to play him as a center back, and he said, no, fuck no, off, I'm, no. not, I'm not playing center back. So <laughs> it happens on occasion. And you bitch, you'll play where I put you. <laughs> Jedi was in the 18. People are, like, worried. Like, is he not? A starter anymore? No, okay, so Jedi came back oh, from really, <laughs> yeah. Jedi came back from camp, didn't play that game, then came in for the last like 20 minutes for the next game. Then he started, and then Brian played again for him. But then they got another game on Tuesday, so the dude needs to get some fucking so, rest. Yes. And if, if you went back through his, uh, the history of Fulham this season, he's played just about every goddamn game, and then you go back through the national team's performances. And he's played just about every goddamn game. So, 
<laughs> I mean, the, the guy the guy is wiped. I mean, if he misses a game from time to time, it's okay, guys. It's okay. It's okay. He didn't lose his starting position to Brian. Have you watched Brian play? Mm-hmm. They've been losing the games he plays. Wow, wow. There you go. Um, and not necessarily his fault, but obviously there's chemistry in the team, and the team knows Jedi very well. Um, Gooch, 79 and a win. Who cares? Dante Sealy, 88 for PSV2. And uh, Boyd, 57 for Rizespor and a tie. They're now up to 17th. There may be hope there. There could be hope. For Tyler Boyd. They're saying yeah. there's a chance. That's exactly right. <laughs> Throw that 100 side die and get a one. All right. Um, Sergeant, we already talked about. Wea, 10 and a loss. Rana is injured. We already mentioned. Brooks went 90 and a horrible fucking loss Ooh. in which he was totally responsible for that fifth goal. It well, didn't matter. It was yeah. already, you were already was four saying, to one. Like I was yeah. saying, I mean, when, when you when you let in six goals, I imagine everybody on the back line was at least responsible for one goal. No, exactly. They were. <laughs> six, um, one? God. That's a total destruction. Absolute destruction. Tolshan, 21, then he was injured. Joe Scali, 50 and a loss. And it wasn't Joe Scali's fault. They should have brought him even earlier. They should have started him. That dude got hurt. Then. That dude that, that got hurt, good for Scally. <laughs> I don't I'm not wishing yeah. injury on people. Hopefully but, a speedy recovery just to ride pine because Scally should start. Yeah. McKenney, exactly. Injured. <laughs> Tessman, 56 in a loss along with Busio's 87. I mean, that was just, I mean, it was like this game that was a total stalemate. Like nobody could get like a real good opportunity. But I don't think that either of them played that well. Busio better than Tessman. Tessman looked a little confused at times, mm. which is sad because he's such a physical specimen and a great athlete. So I hope he figures that out. Um, Hoppy, 18. In the 18 and lost. Miazga in the 18. They won the game. Alice won a game. They're still, back. still last. They're still last in the table. Uh, they're going to need to win more than that. And miyazaka has got no shot and, at and playing at, again. As say, at this point, though, uh, Miyazaka probably doesn't give two shits. He's like, hey, man, my season's in, the season's ending. If you guys get relegated, I'm just going to go back to Chelsea where they're going to ship me off somewhere else. I mean, he must be smoking the local weed and just been enjoying himself because really he's got nothing to look forward to. He's getting this some team sun, is, some vitamin this, D. Yeah, this team is not going to play him. This, he's done. He is a bench player. Um, unless somebody gets Shame uh, he started the season off pretty well. Well, because both of the main center backs were injured for all of this, so two other guys had to step in. So you're saying that somebody, uh, somebody at the club needs to go kneecap a bitch. He's at least fourth Ouch. of their center back setup. So Moose is injured. We already talked about that. Alan Sonora for Independiente 90 in a tie. This guy's playing, and he mm-hmm. the game in midweek, he Scored a goal, so um, I don't know. Well, I know, I know, I know Nations League. I know, Gre- so. I know. Greg once wanted to bring him in. He wanted to bring him in back in December camp. Um, and Pendiente was not. That's who he plays for, right? Yep. Okay. They were not willing to depart with him, and uh, he didn't get to go. So I would imagine that in the fr- upcoming friendlies or Nations League or both, he might get called in. We'll see. Yep. Yeah, we'll see. Zach Steffen, 90 and a loss uh, in the uh, Cup FA Cup game. Good for him getting playing time. Liverpool. Yeah, I mean, he got playing time, but but he didn't play well. Yeah, as I said, I heard he struggled. I played like shit, actually. On two instances. Well, the the giveaway, I used playing out of the back. What's supposed to be his bread and butter, I thought. Playing out of the black, back, which is he's supposed to be so good at. Mm, not that day he wasn't. Yeah. Um, so he gave one of those away on his own. And one of the other ones, it's like, God, dude, can you not react faster than that? Can you not? Like, it was they short-sighted you, dude. You, anyhow, it was just disappointing. Um, Leonard Maloney went 90 for Dortmund, too. Henry Wingo's injured, we already mentioned. Uh, Ventura Alvarado went 73 in Arce. Fernando Arce went 90 in a loss for Juarez. Two guys playing in 
the top league in Mexico that nobody ever mentions. Um, Suarez in the 18 for Tijuana didn't play. Ben Lederman, <laughs> 89 for Raja Sachua. Um, no, Reggie... Sound like you're trying to clear your throat there. Yeah, it's Raja Sachua. Um, my bad. Um, Reggie Cannon, 90 in a loss. Uh, in a bad loss. Oof, boy, boy, this it look like shit. Um, and uh, Alex Mendez, everybody's favorite guy to bring up. Well, he just doesn't start for Vizela. I'm sorry, folks. He doesn't. He should be if he's as good as we all thought he was. But he doesn't. And he came in. He did play half. They brought him in at halftime. And they did win the game. So there's that. P-Fox scored in a loss. Uh, but they lost to Zerg, and that's fair. Zerg's a good team. They're the best team in the league right now. Although, just last season, P-Fox team was the best team in the league. What's going on? Mm. Is it David Wagner? Is he fucking that shit up? Come on, David. Fix it. Here's a name I haven't heard for ages. Lucas Poss went 90 in a loss for Lausanne Uchi in Switzerland. It's the second level of Switzerland. Mm. I thought he was banished from the earth. I couldn't find out where he used to play anymore. He was a big, hot youth player for us. Haji Wright, 77 for Antalyaspor. Yeah, he scored again. And they won again. I don't know. Take that for what you will. Gio Caccini, not in the, uh, did not dress, injured for Montpellier. EPB, 90 in a tie. Conrad's injured. Uh, Malik Tillman was in the 18 for Bayern, but did not play. Yeah. George Bellow, 50 in a loss. <sighs> it was not good. Timothy Chandler, 59 in a loss. He didn't play that well either. Um, Chris Richards, 46 in a tie. That was a stalemate game. And uh, I can't read my fucking handwriting, so there's that one. Um, Julian Green, 90 in a tie. Along with Timothy Tillman, 90 in a tie. Fort Reuther first. We'll take it. We'll just take that. But they're so far down in the table. <laughs> they're yeah. like from the, you know, the next club. 19th place. They're like 10 points off or 8 or something like that. They got no fucking hope. Um, Adams, 83 in a win. That was a good game for Luke's sake and for Adams. Ledesma in the 18 for PSV. Joel Sonora, 60. For Vela's Sarfield, Joel Sonera. Not Alan, Joel. Like, he still exists, and he played 80 for Vela's Sarsfield, who are a very storied team. Aronson's injured. Thomas Roberts didn't even dress for um, Jagenfurt. I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. I mean, that's not even a good team. Dude can't even play. Johnny Cardosa, 72, in a Ten win. Soccer. For International... So it you know, they got a new manager and he started. So that's a good sign. Polisic in the 18, Mel Corbeau's 25. You know, I'm skipping on that. Oh, but I gotta mention this. Terrence Boyd. Goal, goal, and win in 87 for Kaiser Slotten, who are going up. They're going up. They're in promotion, baby. And fucking Terrence Boyd is wrecking that shit. He's gonna be in <laughs> Bundesliga 2 next year. I mean, that's an improvement, right? Step up, uh, uh, Justin Che. Uh, we spent we spent the live stream talking about how um, Hoppy should have stayed in the uh, Bundesliga two, not now Bundesliga you're... three, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, yeah. yeah. You're still well, you're saying Bundesliga two is an improvement, of course. But you know, we're talking about how um, Hoppy should have stayed in Bundesliga two would have stood a better chance of getting on the national team again. Boyd scoring goals in batches, yeah, in Bundesliga three. So I don't know what that moves up. I don't know what that means, but if they move up, what if you? I mean, yeah. this this is a uh, this was Taylor's kind of point too. But if he bounces, let's say he bounces up, and Bundesliga like two and starts doing well there too. Is he contention for a uh, a nine at some point? Maybe not the uh, cycle. The Maybe thing, the cycle. The thing about Boyd is that like he's. Scored a shit ton of goals in Bundesliga 3. He's gone from one team where he scored all the shitload of goals. Now he's on another team scoring a shitload of goals. And Kaiserslautern, frankly, has more money. So they were able to buy him off the team he was scoring a shitload mm. of goals for. And they will desperately want to get back to Bundes, you know, the Bundesliga. Because that's where Kaiserslautern resided for decades. So, um, 
they're like one of those teams like Nottingham Forest where you're like, God, they were like one of the best teams ever in fucking England. Now they're like wallowing down in the fucking championship. You know, I was having, having this conversation with somebody recently where it's like uh, you, had, you had these uh, historical teams um, that were always top mm. tier of the top leagues. And then uh, a couple, a handful of teams start getting some big money owners. And uh, all it takes is one bad season. You get relegated. Yep. And then as you're dropping down, all of a sudden you have another bad season. You drop down again. And you're finding yourself in the third division. And you're like, we literally just won this. Or we won the Champions League. Or we did this like a decade ago. What the hell happened? <laughs> Look at Sunderland. Look at yeah. how far they've fallen. How long they were in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. They're in League One. They've been stuck down there for years now. With Lyndon Gooch, who yeah. doesn't even, he's not even a starter on that team anymore. I don't know what's going on there. Um, Che went 90 for Hoffenheim's two team. So people were wondering, where, why wasn't he in the lineup for Hoffenheim? Well, one of the guys that was injured okay, got back, and then Che got dropped back to Hoffenheim too. I need the minutes. Get the minutes. He got out. the minutes. He got the minutes. Salcedo, 20 and a win for Pumas. CCV, 90 and a loss. We already talked about this with James Sands and all that. Yep. I'm not going to go back in that. We already talked about more, not playing it at Teneriff anymore. But Sam Shishua got 12. Hmm. They won the game. The problem is they're winning games when those two guys don't play. Hmm. There you go. Um, Dwayne Holmes, we were talking about Balgon 30. We talked about Horvath, Mighton. This is Monday. This is now today. This isn't. So this wasn't when they, when this wasn't when they sat on Horvath. Yeah, this isn't Friday. We're on Monday now, and they both rode pine for 90 again. There you go. DK was still injured on Monday. Yep. Des went 90 in a loss. It's not really his fault. Christian Cap is 69 um, for Bronby in a loss. Joe Galagos, a goal for Sonder Jiski. This is not the first time we've said this now for Joe Galagos. He's now doing what Haji Wright did at Sonder Jiski. Hmm. And he's scoring goals and they're winning. Gooch 20. Fuck him. Um <laughs> sorry. Shaduro Dunce 90 for Leicester's 23 and under team in a win. They're moving Odunce up like during one of the cup games. They brought Odunze up as the backup. Nice. And he's young enough to play for the younger team. And he's playing for the U23. So that's a good sign. Yeah. Um Indiana Vasilev back. In action for Aston Villa's U23s. God, not good enough for the big boys anymore. But he got a goal. He got the winning goal or one of the winning goals uh, for the U23 stuff. team. Yeah, and then uh, skip these guys. None of them out. Oh, Taylor Booth, Malik Tillman, and Christopher Scott all went near 90. Malik Tillman went 83. The other two went 90 in a loss for Bayern 2. Um, and you know what? We're fucking done, dude. Now I got one correction. Oh. Uh, David Wagner is no longer the coach of Young Boys. No, fuck. When he did that he got happen? released March 7th. Where and the... uh, now it's Matteo Venetta. Venetta, Venetta. How the fuck did I miss that? Uh, it was literally uh, 11 days ago, Derek. So could have just been easy. We're in April, over. not March. Oh, fair point. A month and 11 days. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. A month, a month and 11 days. How did, how did we miss this for 30, 41 I know. days? Well, see, that's the thing, though. I mean, you said you said his name. I'm like, I could have swore he was shit-canned, but I didn't know when it happened. I thought it was I thought it was a while ago, but I had to pull it up and take a look. And yeah, March 7th. Yeah, when David Wagner took that job, his responsibility was to reclaim the title, the championship. Mm. It's basically the same team. So why not, right? Yeah. I can't believe Wagner lost another job. So that's Schalke. He lost that job. Well, these young boys aren't relegated. Young boy. No, they're second or third. <laughs> somewhere around there. But they should be first. They really should. It's the exact same team as last year. Exact same. And they're underperforming uh, compared to the last manager who moved somewhere else, which makes sense. But... Yeah, you can't take over a first place team and then finish third or fourth the next season. That's mm -hmm. unacceptable, especially to a big club like Young Boys. And that means they're not going to be in the Champions League next year like they were this year. That makes them a lot more money 
So, ah, uh, that's just weird. I'm gonna. I did not know. So where the fuck did David Wagner go, dude? I don't think he's actually anywhere right now. Yeah, I think maybe we're all falling off the cliff on a little bit on David Wagner. He doesn't seem since his time in the championship in the Premier League where he pulled off miracles to be really performing very well. Like his time at Schalke was awful. I mean, it was bad. I'll I'm not say saying the, uh, the young boys aren't performing very well under the interim coach either right now. They had uh, two losses and three draws in the last five. Yeah, like so that did them a lot of good. Huh? <laughs> I mean, we might as well. Really. Let, might as well, I mean, they're, they're still Europa at this point, but Champions League, nope. I'm and they're, they're only one point off of losing their Europa spot. Exactly. So it's like, was is it is it David Wagner, or is That's it a some small fucking league, man? Ten teams. Some, someone else. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's it's. it's I can't even imagine. Well. Isn't the USFL back? Don't they have like eight teams? The United States Football League. Remember? Yo, oh, you don't remember because that was the 80s. That was like Herschel Walker days and shit like that when Donald Trump owned a team in oh, the USFL. Okay. Um, yeah, those were old days when there was this another league that was going to fill with millionaire owners who were going to take on the NFL and try to like. Anyhow, uh, there are. Assuming that this is active right now, there are eight teams. Yeah. Yeah. There's, that a, makes nor sense. there's a north and a south division. <laughs> At that point, yeah. why even have the divisions? Yeah, I'm not sure either. But hey, every team to themselves, there could be mountain issues there too. Like, it's easier to have a north and a south league because. Um, it takes a lot of effort to get over the, that that fucking the Alps. You know, I don't know. I don't fucking oh, know. So we're I, back to the Swiss League. Okay. Oh, oh, I. What are you talking about now? They're the USFL. There's there's oh, eight teams in the USFL. <laughs> we totally. <laughs> well, we crossed our wires <laughs> there, folks. We crossed the street because there is no North and South League in Switzerland. So I was like, I don't know what Brett's <laughs> talking about, but I'm going to try to cover for him. All right. <laughs> Trying to make you not sound like a moron, Brett. <laughs> all right. I think we're done here for the night. And uh, I just want to thank all of you for watching this show. As nutty as is, it's pretty nutty. There's no doubt about it. And that's for good reason. Um, but all of the individuals who write to us and talk to us, and even those who think we're leaving you out, we're not leaving you out. We're very nice to you. So be nice to us. You know, don't make a comment like, I know more than you do. I mean, that's just a dumb thing to say. Well, if you're going to say something like that, say, here's the things that I know that you don't know. Or maybe here are the things that I think that you're not thinking. Hmm. I don't think telling people that they're sm you're, I'm smart, I know more than you are. I don't think that's a good way to approach a conversation. And we're happy for all of your comments, even those. We, but we're and we're going to respond to them in a friendly manner. But I just think we all need to just make sure that we're not saying, you know, things that reflect on yourself in a poor way. That's all. I think that if you are a good person, then be one. That would be my comment. And, uh, you know, we're wacky sometimes here, and it looks like, you know, Sometimes we're assholes, and I get it, but it's all in fucking fun. Trust me. We, if this wasn't fun, we wouldn't be doing it. Yeah. It's all in good. Well, it's yeah. Go ahead. I, that could just mean that it's fun for us, but <laughs> no. Well, I, I, yeah. To paraphrase what Derek's saying, guys, is be legendary. <laughs> you dick. You would <laughs> do that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Don't be legendary. Be human. Legendary. Be human, and be empathetic to other people. And understand, just because they might have a different point than you doesn't mean they're dumber than you or they don't know as much as you. You might just have a different point of view. That's it. It's as simple as that. Um, all right. And I know we get outrageous on the show, but it's because that's who we are. That's it. That's it. Because, but, you know, we never, like, call anybody anybody. Well, we call Michael Cameron the turd. 
at, this, was, at this point, at this point, we cannot not stop. I mean, it's I mean, it nothing, was not, nothing against the guy by any means. It wasn't on purpose, people. I couldn't remember his name. I just said he's the third in the background. So yes, occasionally, but even that is it's a joke, right? It's a joke. It's not serious. So um, I mean, anyhow, you, you could probably do it a little less fluffing, but. They're not letting him do a lot of fluffing until just recently again. So hopefully we don't get a lot of that. Here's what – if you want to go that route, Michael, if you want to go that route in USSF, everybody, then you need to have like a a like a WWE slash MMA like type of intro. Bruce like, Buffer. In the red corner. And it was like, <laughs> but, or, is that in the red Something corner? Something like Craig that. Burr, yeah. Alter, he is 54, 3, and 2. You know, <laughs> Greg Bohorter is the most uh, amazing person that ever managed the team. The Can we all stand up in for... five decades? Yeah. He's undefeated <laughs> in the Nations League. Greg Bohorter. For all the rest of them running out, like, like maybe like a rock yeah. in the free world. And then he yeah. comes down the fucking aisle <laughs> with, you know, on like a king's chair and shit like that. Yeah, I mean, all that would be great. I mean, if they were going to grow over the top, I'm, 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 I'd I'm, be willing to embrace that. Pop open some champagne. <laughs> best Something of the best. Like <laughs> oh, all right. That'd certainly make the pressers a little more interesting. Yeah, it would. <laughs> but they don't have a lot of room in Greg's small little office, apparently, for something like that. Do it, do it in the apartment across his office. Yeah, it seems like he's smashed against the window <laughs> and shit. You can see all the shit going on in the office behind him. And he's like, uh, you know, he doesn't know what's going on back there. People humping, whatever. Dude, somebody, somebody needs to reach out to whomever's in that office and start doing gags on the window. Like, you know, like, send help and shit like that. <laughs> that would be, that'd be fucking great. <laughs> That would be great. Unfortunately, uh, I believe they own that building too. So yeah, yeah more more of the fun then, because then they know. Let's put a little little marker up in the back. More verticality in the yeah, window. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks for joining us and putting up with us. Um, we'll be back on Thursday. Apparently, uh, I don't know what the fuck we're going to talk about yet. Well, we're I imagine gonna... I imagine we'll, we'll probably talk about uh, Group B at that point. We'll do Group B. We'll probably, um, you know, I'm thinking about the other topics. Maybe some of the people can come up with some new topics for us as far as what you'd like to hear us talk about as far as the U.S. team goes or anything else. I don't care. We'll answer any questions. We check, we check the comment section, guys. So leave some suggestions yeah. and we will steal them. <laughs> Give us some topics and we'll do them and we will steal them. And, uh, I mean, there are things to talk about, obviously, and we'll come up with that before Thursday and hope that you think they're interesting as well. So, until then, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share it with your grandma. This has been The Straight Red Card. <laughs> <laughs>